What are the best crafting games on PC? It's easy to mix these up with building games, though don't worry, we have a list of the best building games, Trove. Trove is similar to Minecraft, it's a sandbox MMORPG with endless places to explore including different biomes and realms, and even dungeons. As well as exploring and collecting resources, there's a whole lot of building and crafting that goes into making Trove a magical place for both you and your online buddies. When you start out in Trove, you'll be given a little piece of the world, your cornerstone, that you can fill with weapons, creatures, and fresh environments. Procedurally generated realms and dungeons keep Trove feeling fresh and exciting as you venture out to take on new quests to earn resources and loot to build up and craft new items for your little part of the Trove world. Stardew Valley You know what kind of gaming experience you're in for straight off the bat with Stardew Valley. As you load in, a fantasy of leaving behind a busy and soulless city job to go and work on your grandfather's farm greets you. Armed with basic farming tools and almost no money, you stock up on crafting recipes as you turn a weary and overgrown plot of land into a bustling farm teeming with food and animals. You'll be crafting for functionality to start, as you cobble paths and put up fences to keep your animals in one place. Once you've nailed the basics, you can craft more artisanal equipment like beehives and kegs. You won't just be crafting for your farm, though, as eventually you'll be able to craft various types of bombs to help you clear out and explore nearby caves. There's no rush to do all of this, either. Your progress on the farm can be as fast or slow as you feel comfortable with. Crafting new tools and tending to your farm never gets dull either, as Stardew Valley's world changes with the seasons, determining what food you can grow. And outside of the farm you can also get to know the inhabitants of a local village through idle conversation and the odd festival. On top of all this, you can also invite up to three friends to help out on your farm or just generally keep you company in one of the best farming games. If you're looking to spice up the experience in weird and wonderful ways you can also download one of the many Stardew Valley mods. Rust. Everything is out to kill you in Rust. If you aren't hacked to bits by a rogue raider, then chances are the radiation and weather hazards will get you instead. Even meeting other players poses a risk, as there's every chance they'll beat you to death with a rock the second your back is turned. To make matters worse, you're dropped into the world of rust without any direction or instruction, forcing you to adapt to the harsh environment. So, best have a list of handy rust console commands at the ready. As you die and die again, you'll learn how to craft new weapons, gear, and hodgepodge shelters, starting with rudimentary axes and wooden shacks, and eventually working your way up to assault rifles and brick fortresses. With so many other players out to murder you and steal everything you've worked hard for, your best bet is often to create a clan of like-minded players so you can create bigger and better settlements that you can patrol together. Rust is a challenge but it's one worth overcoming, especially with a group. No Man's Sky No Man's Sky got off to a rocky launch, but it has landed on its feet wonderfully following a number of substantial content updates from developer Hello Games. Now you can build a single base to call home no matter where you travel to in the galaxy, explore the universe in multiplayer, and voyage underwater in eerie, monster-filled alien oceans. If you're looking for something different, you can also try any of these stellar No Man's Sky mods. With the release of No Man's Sky 2.0, the Beyond update, the multiplayer experience has improved extensively, making teaming up to craft weird and wonderful technology in one of the best space games on PC far more satisfying. Despite all the change, crafting is still key to No Man's Sky, especially when it comes to growing your home base. These abodes do more than provide a fuzzy sense of belonging, and can be used for farming, storage, healing, shield recharge, and as a home for the various NPCs you'll meet along your travels. To craft and develop your shelter you'll need to do a lot of intergalactic foraging. A circuit board, for example, requires polyfiber and a heat capacitor, and to forge those items you'll need cactus flesh, star bulbs, frost crystals, and solanium. The hunt for these items drives you to constantly explore new worlds, 
you find a planet, explore and hunt for materials, and then move on. Minecraft One of Minecraft's greatest strengths is its versatility. You're free to craft practically anything, from the equipment needed to embark on whatever adventure you desire, to rigging your base with TNT to trap invaders. Are you feeling less mischievous? Why not create a roller coaster with heaps of redstone? You can also shape how difficult it is to craft Minecraft's giant backlog of items. Play it in survival mode, and you'll need to balance creativity with staying alive. If you want pure freedom then hop into creative mode to build whatever your heart desires. Once you've created your masterpiece, you can show it off online, where you'll find a community of players keen to show you their Minecraft builds in return. And if you somehow run out of things to do in the base game, then you can install everything from Minecraft mods and Minecraft texture packs, to whole new Minecraft seeds and adventure maps to explore.